So here we have Sean McGordy of the men's 3000 meter steeplechase. So Sean, I'll be asking questions on behalf of reporters, but just to start us off, take us through that final. Uh, I mean, uh, <laughs> first word that comes to mind is, is disappointed, obviously. Um, felt like I did a good job positioning myself early on in the race, just kind of right on uh, Cabral's shoulder. But um, I don't know. We weren't running very fast, and I think my legs started to feel a little heavier than I would have expected at that pace. And I think I honestly, you know, let that go to my head a little and, and frazzle me. Um, and so I think as, you know, people naturally started to move with – a mile, 1200 to go. Um, I just think I kind of let myself get out of the race mentally. Um, and then, you know, next thing you know, there's a gap and you're kind of watching your Olympic dreams fade away. Um, so, so it's definitely hard staying on it. Um, that last lap. Um, but yeah, I think just, I don't know. I don't think, you know, there's no guarantee that you know, I would have made it if I stayed with him, but I think I'm, I'm just disappointed because I think I let how I was feeling, um, you know, get to me mentally and, and inhibited um, my performance today. And uh, like I said, I don't know if that means I would have been on the team, but I think I definitely could have been closer and at least been with the move um, when it happened the last 800. Question here from Jonathan Galt says, did you feel affected by the heat at all? Do you think it may have affected you more because you're a bigger runner? <laughs> Um, I don't know. Maybe, maybe the heat was why I started to feel my legs. Um, you know, I, I honestly felt like I felt pretty good, uh, warming up and doing strides. I, I adjusted appropriately on, on Monday. Uh, I, I did our normal 25 minute warm up, and <laughs> that felt really hot. So today I only went 15 and I mean, really didn't, didn't feel too hot right away. I mean, maybe that was why I just felt a little more, um, fatigued in the beginning, but I don't think it necessarily, you know, impacted me more than, more than anyone else. I think that, um, you know, we all had to race in it and, you know, this body might be bigger, uh, than, than others, but I think, um, it gives me plenty of, of advantages, um, as well. So maybe, you know, this was evening things out a bit, but I, I don't think it impacted me any more than it would have anyone else. Question here from Brian Metzler asks, after a few races now, do you feel like the steeple is your race? Uh, I mean, it's, you know, tough asking that question after uh, the result I just had. But I, I think Jerry and I really, and Pascal and, and Evan, we felt confident about how I could do in the steeple. And, and you know, I didn't execute today. I think they did everything they could to prepare me for this moment. Um, I don't know. I don't know if... I just still need to get a little more experience to stay more relaxed. I don't know if I just let this moment, um, you know, kind of get the best of me as well in a new event. Um, but I don't know. I did, I did feel confident that this was an event I could be successful in. And I hope I get to run more um, this year because I do think I have unfinished business in the event. I have a follow-up question here from Jonathan Galt. Asks, can you elaborate on how your legs felt? Fatigue, sore, dead? Um, probably more in like the fatigued and, uh, more kind of flat, didn't feel like super bouncy. I just think for the pace we were running, um, I think the fatigue just, just built quicker than, than you would have expected. You know, we, I do K's at altitude way faster than, you know, the K, first K of our race. And I think I feel better doing that than I did, uh, today. Um, it's, you know, honestly, it's, it's weird to me. I feel like the first few days before the Monday race, I didn't feel great on my normal runs, you know, pre-meet. Um, but I just say I definitely felt better on Monday. And then this week was kind of different on my easy runs. I was feeling better than I did, but, um, on the race definitely felt like a little flat fatigued. I don't think anything was sore particularly. It was just kind of a, a general heaviness, but, but I could have helped control that. Um, cause I definitely think when you start thinking about fatigue, you can make it worse for yourself. All right. We'll give. If any other reporters are typing anything into the chat, just raise your hand so I know. Give them a couple seconds here. I don't see any hands raised, so I think we're good to let you go. Thank okay. you so much for taking Thank the you. time.